Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese and welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate where today we're finally looking at that letter for me that Jacob's been talking about for the last... What, how long have we been playing this? Is this the 16th episode it might be? My goodness, we've gotten through this one really fast. I have done this series differently than other Assassin's Creed videos. Uh, I've definitely made them a lot longer. In the past we've done just single missions per episode. Uh, in this one we've done entire like hour long recordings and just trimmed them up and uploaded them. It's been very different. I've kind of liked it. But here we are, strange bedfellows. Jacob accept Mathmel Roth, Maxwell Roth's invitation to meet. So we read his letter. In the previous episode, that was the letter for me. Better check the back. Hmm. Strange bedfellows, and we're checking out the back. Not gonna make any sort of uh. Oh, look at that. Well, that must be the fella then. We'll head around back, uh, and I guess figure out what's up. Why he's not letting us in through the front door. Hey, buddy. I I come all this way. You send me this invitation. I show up, and you're not even you're not even in there, mate. How are you doing? Are you Maxwell Roth? I'm here to see Mr. Roth. I guess he's not. Weapons. No, yes, you. lots of them. I've got my own. Okay, that's a much better line. You should be on the stage, sir. Thank you. This way. Mmm, this seems fishy. Everything about this seems fishy. I don't like this. I think this is a trap. I could crap! In the words of Admiral Akbar. Probably not, though. It's fine. Do we get to put on a, a gay performance? Do we get to uh, sing and dance and... And all the other things you do when you're in a play, I, I've only been in like two. I did not sing nor dance. I really wish that I had though. Would have been a much more enjoyable experience. Sure, mate. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite. Magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary. Surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Starrick, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. I'm, I'm completely sure about that. That sounds like exactly what we need to be doing. I to provide you with the chance to cause Staric some pain. Well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? And Jacob does like to kill people. A chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. Oh, yeah? When's he coming around? Oh, moi? Sounds like a plan to me. A deal. Let's dink it and sink it, my friends. Rhett and Link reference there. Good mythical. <laughs> the afternoon spoiler alert. Uh, my carriage. Shall we? Oh boy, he's real excited. Or really drunk. Or maybe both. Maybe he gets excitable when he's drunk. There are people like that. Uh, I, I know a few. Um, but yeah, let's let's oh wait, hold on. No. Is this is this leading to an escort mission? It feels like this is leading to an escort mission. Where I have to drive him around the streets of London. Well, now I kinda did. I've got the reins. Where am I going? Okay, get up, horses. I'm not supposed to spare you. Freedom. Hey, that's true. Explosives. Oh, well, this side would be very entertaining. Oh, okay. I mean, if we stole it, we could do, like, useful stuff with it. But also, blowing it up could just be fun as well. I mean, we could blow up other things if we stole it. But just blowing it up, like, in and of itself, could also prove to be a good time, I suppose. Yeah. Sepankris? I mean, this man's asking the real hard-hitting questions here. Okay. That may help you enter the station unseen. Ah, that train. As long as it remains on the tracks. Right. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. 
I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station. Alright, mate, thank you! And uh, we don't want to jump on there along with the, like that guy. Jump in the coal. We can hide in the coal. Actually, not a good idea. We can hide back here in this uh, this little Duma flopper here, this car here, and we'll just chill out until we get there. Oh, it's all right. All right we're here in the station now, love. And uh, you governor, look at that guy. You reckon we could hit him with the? Oh shoot, no. We need to have knives, 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 knives. I have no knives at all. I need to go shopping. I think. Destroy all dynamite by igniting it and probably not, like, arousing a great deal of suspicion. The way I see it is if we snuck in here, there's probably not too many people to deal with except for all of those guys. Boom! Okay. So I got a feeling this train isn't going to stop. Oh, no, look at that as I say it. Well, let's go ahead and detach it just in case they take off. At least then we'll be safe here. And uh, we're just going to hang out inside of this car where we're safe. Again... Stay here where it's safe, and we'll slowly have these guys kill each other. I mean, we're down- we only got two more poison darts, really, so this can only go for so long. But I think that's created, like, a big enough stink that we're probably safe to move about freely. At least for the time being. Get- get down, Jacob. What are you doing? Jacob, you need to get- get down, Jacob. Thank you, sir. Alright, I don't see anyone else- ooh, those guys. Boom! Alright, see? Another group taken care of. So, ways I sees it, if they're busy stabbing each other, we can slip right around here and uh, stab these two. Or just that one, but then also this one, but then also that one there sees us. What, we, we need to do something, Jacob. We're being shot at right now. Oh, there's two of them over there. Put down the body, dang it. Oh, no, this guy's mad. No, we don't want to get stabbed by him. He's a crazy man. He's all doped up on drugs. Dude, there's other people you can fight. Like this guy. There we go. Perfect. Ah! Oh, uh, no, the big guy! The big guy from all the cutscenes is here! Oh, he's dead now. May he rip in peace. And we might as well go ahead and kill this guy, too, because it looks like he's about to start shooting. That's going to draw a lot of attention. Disable this bell. Just before it causes any trouble. Let's not, let's not have this happen here. All right. Ignite. Oh, we got to hold it. Boom? I think? Oh. Hold it, and then he just lights a match. Well, we should get away from it, if I'm being honest with you. I don't want to be standing right next to it when it goes off. Now, I think if we get all of it, we get, like, a bonus or something? Might be the situation? Yeah, Someday destroy all the dynamite by igniting it. It says one of five, so I think we have to destroy at least a minimum of five, but also, there appears to only be five. What other way would I destroy that? <gasps> oh, can I shoot it and destroy it? Maybe I can shoot it and destroy it, but the game wants me to walk around and, like, intentionally ignite, ignite it. Which is fine. Amazing you didn't notice that there, Toots. Time to ask the big questions. How high up in the air can I be when I do a... That high, apparently. There's not really any reason to be stealthy at this point. You can pretty much just rock through here and kill everyone. Like, I haven't found any reason to be stealthy. Hasn't really helped me any. Sorry, you're being a real hassle. You two. I mean, you haven't done anything, but I know where that was headed. Let's all be honest here. And the final batch here to blow up. And we'll be on our merry way over to this chest over yonder. We gotta start focusing on getting more money. Cause we gotta get like the bestest weapons before we head into the final round of missions, which will be probably be next episode. Like I think next episode is gonna be the finale of like the main storyline. I think we'll be done. Find a driver. Fair enough, I can do that. Ah! See, this looks like just the right area to find someone to give me a ride. Uh that guy right there seems appropriate. Excuse me, sir! Hold still, please. I'm taking you with me. Uh, nice punch to the face there. Really gets that across. Reach the locomotive with the driver. Alright. Alright, let's hope that after we end this, we'll get some steady, rock-solid 60 FPS. Thank you, sir. Why did we steal the train, though? I thought we were just destroying the explosives. No one's bothered explaining this to me. Oh, hey, looks the bad guy. But he's a good guy now. We're mates. And we've given him a train. Like, I don't know, some sort of a gift or something. Hey, handsome. Splendid. Will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. I don't buy this. 
Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. Sure thing, Johnny Depp like person. Next time we get a letter, Jacob, I say we ignore it. That was all just rather strange, wasn't it? Whatever. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Let me tell you all the dead, dead. Oh, no, not a Jacob and Roth mission again. Is that what all of these are going to be? How do I check? Where's my mouse? How do I get it over here? That button? That's how I do it. All right, sequence. Got to find sequence eight. Roth, Roth, Roth. They're all Roth missions. Oh my gosh. I planned the perfect second outing for us. Have you? The perfect setting, second outing? Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh dear. And I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go. Lewis! Who is Lewis? Lewis the bird? The bird wants out. Poor bird. I know what it's like to be trapped in a cage and want freedom. I'm like a bird. I want to fly. Where? There we go. Okay. Mouse was not in the window. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. I, I know I know what. cowardly fools under Steric build their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. These conversations are very peculiar. What am I doing? Uh, Hattie's whereabouts. Now, look, I'm... I have been paying attention. I should, if this was good storytelling, know what's happening. Who's Hattie Catwallader? And what's that? I like how they felt the need again to tell me what pregging meant. Pregging art, I mean, maybe I've never heard it before. I should be able to at least figure out what that means. I think we found it, Jacob. I think it's back here. Or maybe this is it right here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and investigate this thing before the officer turns around. Ah, its statue appears to be missing. Never mind. Boy! Little boy! Have you seen a statue? I can't speak to you. There we go. Smally? Now where is that statue? Miss Cadwallader? Alright, so there's a woman who lives in the sewers. Uh, whoa! Hey! Sorry, mate! I did nothing to you, though. Calm down. Alright. Woman who lives in the... Dadgummit. Now there's a police officer, too. Alright, as I was saying, woman who lives in the sewers and steals art. That's not normal. We need more tools, though. We need more equipment before we just calliope down there. Looks like this is the closest. All right, I got my pockets loaded with lots of goodies, things I can use to uh, to stab and kill quietly, like I did that guy. But I didn't do that with any of the goodies that I just purchased. So really, you could argue that I didn't need those things. But I'm not gonna like go back and try to return them. Is this the downstairs? This is the downstairs. All right, sweet. We're heading into the sewers. Heading into the cellars to figure out where this uh, crazy woman is, Miss Catawaller, who steals art and hides in the sewers like some sort of a mad person. Okay, that didn't seem to alert anyone. Well, except for all of these people who now stopped to stare in this direction. Might have been better off with, like, a knife. Probably would have been a better option. Too late now, though, of course. Come on, little matey. Thank you. Oh, sneaky! Thought you'd come around the side there. Nice try. That leaves me and Miss Catawaller, whom I need to... Oh, come on, let's let me stab her! Why do I need to kidnap her? I mean, fine, whatever. Uh, actually, I intend to kidnap you. As soon as I, I, I like, press the E button enough. There's the statue, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll definitely tell him that. Hold on, don't run anywhere. Look, I need to get inside this chest here for a second just while I'm down here. Figure out what this is. Okay. I said not to run. I said not to run. Come back here. Come back here, Miss Catawaller. Hold still. Sorry, but I've got to take you with me. Oh, I didn't mean to knock her out. 
Well, actually, I did. I've got a kidnapper. Whether or not she's conscious is largely irrelevant. I can't wait to be done with this game and its potato frame rates. I mean, I love the game. The game's been a lot of fun, but these frame rates are atrocious. I mean, in game, again, perfect, smooth, absolutely flawless. It's just in the recording. I don't understand why this one game is giving me so much hassle. Hi, Rothy, I'm back. I got her for you. Wasn't all that difficult, if I'm being, being honest. Just ran downstairs and shot everyone she was with. I mean, I don't even know what she was doing. What made her such a bad person? I mean, she stole art. Did she really deserve to have all of her friends murdered and and then to be, like, knocked unconscious and thrown into the back of a cart by, with this strange Johnny Depp type? Right. Head of security. Right. Okay. Excuse me there, fellas. Something tells me I'm supposed to be sneaking up on him, but, uh... Oh, well. Oh, keep moving. Alright, so I've done, like, a full ring around the block here. And I think what I figured out is I gotta leave the cart far enough back. That these guys will never mind. They're coming anyway. Just get out the cart. We'll deal with them. I'll deal with them myself. Whoa! What? I don't know what happened to that guy. Is he okay? Are you all right, bro? Dude, you had a real rough run down there, man. I'm sorry to hear see that happen to you. You seemed like a good enough guy. Hold still, buddy. You died real easy, didn't you? I say we just again eliminate all the guards because that worked last time. I'm unstoppable. And we'll just slip our way right through here. I see him right over there. Alright, maybe now is the time we get a little bit stealthy. Alright, what are the odds I can kill all of his mates there before he realizes- No, he totally figured it out. Never mind. Alright, then we'll just have to very stealthily book it after him and tackle him to the ground. Watch me go. Or watch me whip. Alright, now watch me nae, nae That was the whip. What you're seeing right now, though, this is the nae, nae Whoa, no, don't kill him! Do not kill him! We cannot let this man die! We cannot let him die! Oh, wait, I think we- I'm pretty sure we failed. And I don't want to fail today. Alright, so let's just very stealthily... Oh, he's gotten away. He's getting away. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry, I can't really be dealt... Like, I can't deal with you right now. I gotta catch him. Here, dip. get confused. That's what the smoke does, right? Oh, dude, come on. You're making this real difficult for all of us. The further you run, the further I have to go to get you back to the cart. Oh, no, these guys. Alright, there we go. Okay, quickly now. Before the smoke settles... Let's get you out of here. There we go. We'll slip back through the park, because there's no one left in here. They've all run outside to catch me. None of them are going to expect this. Look, it's perfect. They've literally got no clue where we are. This is actually working, everyone. I mean, I did just hear a gunshot, but I don't think it was directed at me. Okay, well, those guys in the cart have found me. Oh, and these two guys, these three guys by the entrance. Maybe, no, just the two. Ah, we're so close, though. Dang it! Just do it again. Just throw down some more smoke. Perfect. Pick up the body. Maybe take some medicine. Pick up the body. Pick up Pick up the body. Pick up the... You are an incompetent buffoon, my friend. An incompetent buffoon. I mean, they are running right into the smoke. Where they can't see me or fight back properly. Which I guess I can't really argue, I mean, if they're going to keep doing that. The problem is, I really want to throw a knife at this guy, but I can't. Because when Jacob gets into fighting mood, he just refuses to throw knives. Because, I don't know, game developers are too incompetent to work out combat in any usual way. Alright, I brought you number two, my friend. I brought you... I, he was a bit more trouble. What happened to the first one? I don't see her back there anymore. Is she even in there? I can't tell. I just see this one guy now. What are you doing to them when I walk away, Mr. Roth? I don't actually want to know. Who am I looking for? 
Chester swine ball. A copper by day and snitch by night. Removed him from the pack and you cut Starring's ties to the police force. Oh, sweet. He must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed dear boy. And I am here. I almost said back. All right, we've got to find this uh, Chester fella, uh, which might involve like just blatantly killing some police officers. Not because I had to, but because they were in front of me and it was a lot easier. Same thing for these two guys. Sorry, look, nothing personal. I think I need to upgrade these knives or something because they kind of suck. Perfect. While they're being electrocuted, because I meant to do that, I definitely didn't mean to throw a smoke bomb. But then accidentally threw a shock. Actually, the shock kind of worked, though. Let's keep doing that. It's very effective. Hi. Sorry. Look, I just had to, you know, come in here and kill everyone you know and love and kidnap you. Nothing personal. Do you have a chest around here I can take? I hear it. If I were a rich man, I would pay someone else to kidnap all these bodies. And I would hang out on my train and pester my sister Evie. I wouldn't have to work hard. Where to next? Uh, my son. What else are we gonna do to, uh, harass one Messia Steady? We're almost at the delivery point. Are you telling me that's it? It was just those three? It was just three, wasn't it? Maybe it was four. I can't remember. Kind of lost track. Here, though. Oh, good, man. Looks for sure like we're gonna run into that, uh... Oh, yeah, there's four of them. Thought for sure we are gonna run into a tree. I don't trust this guy still. It seems like he's getting rid of all these people who would otherwise stand in his way so that he can consolidate power within the uh, organization of the Templars. And I guess we're back for more fun and game. Oh boy, look at that! I have everything on fire in that little preview there. I can only assume that what's going to happen at the end of this one is uh, winter's coming and we're going to. Cuddle around with our new friend Roth. Nice, warm, blazing fire. Oh, okay. Just cook some marshmallows. Darn it, we're getting back in his cart again. This man and his carts and his cardigans. There's something else. Excuse me. Very yawning mood today. What are we doing? We're going to his workshop? Oh, dear. Okay. Right, so you want me to go tear apart his workshop. Now get off the cart, come on. S stop being silly. Hold up, Roth! Wait a second. What's going on up here? Check this out, bro. Look what I can do. How cool am I? Huh? We got- I feel like we need to, like, maintain a balance in this relationship of me being cooler than him. Because his Johnny Depping about is, is really distracting. As is the jittery way he walks upstairs. Alright. You must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Okay. Together. T together. Me and you, together. Do not kill anyone while placing the explosives. What, what about from here? Does that count? Probably. Alright, I guess we'll do this bonus objective situation here and we won't... Uh, oh. Uh, shoot. Maybe we should just get back. Ah, you know what, Shrek it. To heck with not killing anyone. I don't have time for these extracurriculars. Everyone's going to die. I've made that decision. I'm comfortable with it. The rest of you are just going to have to deal. We don't need the bonuses from the extracurriculars. To heck with it. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier in the long run if we just kill everyone now. We won't have to deal with them later. It's a lot easier for me if they don't try to attack back as well. Just die. I'm not exaggerating either. I'm actually going to kill all of them. Just every la not just the women, but the men and the children too. I think I said that one wrong, but whatever, it's effective. You get the idea. And with that, the situation is dealt with. Everyone's dead. Congratulations. I killed all of Steric's men. No rush now. We just pick these up at our leisure. Care oh wait, who's that? Shrek me, who is that guy? Alright, get rid of him. Do it! Okay, I, I was hoping that would blow up. I like was fully expecting that to blow up on impact. Well, what are you doing, mate? Hold still. C no, come on, man. Fight me right here now like a, like a man. Simple enough. 
How is that? Does it need to be like super particular? I guess That's not. One. What? Who are you? Set. How did I miss you? I keep finding people I totally meant to kill, but just lost track of. All right, now just in case anyone's confused about what's happening here, we're about to blow up Steric's workshop, where he makes toys for all the kids at Christmas time. But whatever, children don't deserve toys. What have they done to earn them? Absolutely nothing, that's what. All right, dude, let's blow this place up. And uh, no more Sandy Claus, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, I didn't ignite any of those. Do I need to go back, or are you going to do this remotely? Have you rigged up some sort of a system? Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready? Wait, kids! Whatever for. There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starek uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production. See, I told you this guy's unstable. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon you will understand what it is to be free as I am. He really is a Johnny Depp type. Alright. No! Nice! We finally killed the guy with the bald head! I mean, aren't you familiar, Jacob, with all the other nonsense that we've done? What do I need to do? Oh, snap! Okay, he just ignited it anyway. I, we, we, I wouldn't argue that anything we've done previously has been playing games. Come on, let's go! How do I get you out of here? Ha rescue all the children. Ah, by opening this door. The kids couldn't do that themselves. I've done it, though. Get out of here. Move. Move, you idiot. Alright, now we gotta get the little unconscious, not yet corpses, but will be soon if I don't hurry. Look, I, I'm all for blowing up steric stuff, but surely... Can I throw the body? I can't seem to throw the body. Surely we don't have to kill the children in the process. Like, we could have taken the ten minutes necessary to kick in the door and escort them out. Sorry, mate. You're not a child. I can't bother. I can't help you. Rescue all of the children in under two minutes. Um... If I don't, do all the children die? Or does it just take longer? Like the countdown just goes past two minutes. I don't want to think about children dying, if I'm being honest with you. That's not what I wanted to do when I started the day. All right, you wait there, little kid. I'm going to go get your, your buddy, Billy, over here in the corner. Hold still, Billy. I got you. It's all fine. I got your mate outside. I think you're the last one. Oh, boy, it's warm in here, right, Billy? You're getting a bit of a, a, bit of a tan, by which I mean your, your body's very burnt. All right, run along, little Billy. Run along home. We didn't really blow this place up so much as catch it on fire. We we really committed an act of arson. The gifts uh, from Mr. Roth. Oh dear. It's gonna be our sister's head. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. This Johnny Depp type is going to be a real hassle, isn't he? My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. He killed the bird! This isn't fun in games! I mean, I'd argue it never was, but still. Alright, I think we're heading into the finale of this particular sequence, so we need to go ahead and fill up on all of our gear, make sure we got plenty of knives, and smoke bombs, and bullets to go around, and then we're going to run over and stab this guy right in the face. Or the knee, it looked like, maybe? Oh, he's got a twin! Oh, man, I think it's the same ball guy. All right, I think we're about ready to get started, but before we do, let's hop in here real quick to crafting. Gear? Not gear. We don't want to craft gear. We want to craft upgrades. Because I thought that, didn't we unlock, like, a new upgrade to something? Here it is. Throwing knife pouch upgrade, baby. Heck to the yezels. Throwing knife upgrade three crafted. As soon as we figure out where the Tanjor poison is, we'll be doing real good. I just still don't know what the secret item is as well. I also see that we have a chance to go ahead and upgrade some of our skills. Girls only kill about guys that have cool skills. We're going to go ahead and go do that as well. Um, 
Just unlock things to make us better in combat. Maybe reach level 10. What is this one? Performing multi-kill regenerates health. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that one as well. That's pretty good. We get a lot of multi-kills as Jacob. Or maybe we would if I was a better fighter. Huh. We've only got two more that we can unlock as Jacob. The rest of these are all EV specific, so that's interesting. We're headed into the final confrontation between Jack Jacob and Maxwell. I don't know why I said Jacob. I'm a little tired. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, it's fine. We're going to get through this. I'm going to keep drinking my water. I missed a bit there. Oh, that got on my phone. That's not good. Stealth opportunity, the usher. Interesting. Oh, I have text messages. All right, I'm having to disassemble my phone case so I can properly dry my phone off. Dry over there, phone. Don't be ruined, please. Ma, yeah, usher, waitress, um, ma, ma, yeah, let's do it. We got this. First things first, though, let me get these, uh, crushed flowers here. Sorry, pressed flowers. So I can help my sister in her weird relationship with this older man. Who are you? I'm going to identify you. And I'm assuming you are loot a mask from Roth's guard near the music hall. Do I kill her first? I guess I, I don't kill her. It won't let me. Boom! All right, take the mask from her. Stab her. Stab her. Kill her. Do something. Do, do, do something. Throw a knife at her face. Do something. What? So I have to loot a mask from Roth's guard near the music hall. Oh, I see. So I don't get a mask from her. I get a mask from somewhere else. Maybe one of these guards here. And then we sneak into the music hall. And buy the music hall. Like this. All right, that's actually electrostatic. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a smoke grenade, but um, we've started the process. There's no turning back now. Oh, look, there's more of them. How about that? How you like them apples, boys? Didn't anticipate that, did you? Huh? Yeah, gonna make you think twice. I like how everybody's just lined up over there on the sidewalk, and they don't even care. That's nice. I like that out of my, my citizens. Just seeing a man just go absolutely crazy attacking people in front of him. They're just like, yeah, you know, another night in London. All right. I think I've used more of those electric electrocuting grenades things than I have at any other point during this game. Do I have a mask? you darn right I do. Oh, yeah, boys. We're getting in there easy now, even though... I mean, we don't have to. Ah, but we will be anonymous inside. That's an advantage. Heaven knows we're not going to be... Yes. Let us enter. Let me put on my hood. No, you know what, take it off. Yeah, never mind. That's a little too suspicious. Nobody mind these corpses on the ground here. Let me just kind of poke around in this one. There we go. Uh, we're headed in. Let's, uh, I'm really excited about this performance. You guys excited? Big Ra Ra Raxwell Moth fan. I really liked his last, uh, to kill a, a crowing bird. That was bird, 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 bird. You can call me flower if you want. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm going mad, everyone. I'm going absolutely mad. The madness. This is, this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Don't want to mess with those two. I don't know what that means. Visceral. Oh dear. So he's gonna like murder someone on stage or something and then blame it on us. Thank, thank you for throwing a play for me, sir. That's very kind of you. Also, it told me not to raise too much suspicion. I did just throw two knives at two people. But that apparently wasn't enough to raise suspicion. Maybe a third one, though? No. No, we're still pretty chill. No one seems to really care. Here we go. Uh, from here, we can get a good bird's eye view in the situation. Maybe find some other uh, things that we can do, like... Oh, what an idea. Maybe we'll poison them. Oh, that's Maxwell in the funny mask. 
Is there something I can drop on his head? That entire ramp, maybe? That might be useful. Alright, I'm ready. So we got decoys to kill. We also need to talk to this young lass. How are you doing? Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Oh, perfect. Pitcher's poisoned. I guess we've taken care of all of, uh... Oh, this is perfect. So she's gonna go kill all of his, um... His look-alikes. Nothing suspicious about that, dang it! Come on, guys. Don't alert anyone to this. Come on. Let's be chill about this, gentlemen. I've got things to do. You're the bad guys! Surely you figured that out by now. Who's that guy? Oh, is that one of the guys? Okay, well, we've missed that one. Pardon me, sir. Kind sir. I'm gonna have to murder your face. Thank you. I need to rescue this man for some reason. I don't know what he's gonna do to help me. Hi there, sir. How are you? Let me get you out of here. You look like you've you've had a rough time. There you go. Can you go lower the rafters? That's a daisy. It's yeah. A Why do they tie you up anyway? Like, surely they needed you for the show. Doesn't matter. You know what? That's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, this is not going well. I'm still not sure which one's the real Maxwell. I thought for sure we were going to poison them all. But apparently this guy... Look, I've already failed the don't use ranged weapons thing. So what? Oh, wait, what? Did I fail? What's happening? I guess I killed all the uh, alternatives. This has all been very hectic. Oh, I see. They're burning all the people inside the building. Oh. What a silly game you play, Mr. Maxwell Roth. You're right, though. Um, it's not a game anymore. Can I zip line over there? Looks like I kind of can, yeah. Perfect. Look at this. Just like that. Ah, oh, you idiots! You got the wrong guy! What is wrong with you, Jacob? Why would you attack that assistant? Only you could be so incompetent. Oh, Count Dooku. Only you could be so bold. There we go. It wasn't Count Dooku, though. It was, uh, what was his name? Uh, Tarkin. Grand Moff Tarkin. Only you could be so bold. Count Dooku's pretty bold, too, though. Pretty bold guy. Darling. What a night. The stuff of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. He really does have a Johnny Depp complex. Why not? <laughs> He's a bit like if Johnny Depp played the Joker. That's what this whole character has been. Uh, aren't you going to collect a bit of his blood? Yeah, that's what I thought, you sicko. Really need more information on why this is a done thing. Maybe we've captured his soul inside of that like little paper towel. Ugh. Actually, that's kind of gross. It's been a fun one, y'all, but uh, I think I'm gonna book it on out of here, thank you. Uh, everyone else, you should probably also flee for your lives. Uh, just a recommendation. Because, you know, the building's burning and all. Probably don't want to be in here for much longer. Uh, if I were you, I'm... D d is there no escape? Is this some sort of cruel alternate ending to the game? Have I failed or something? Is it impossible for me to win now? No matter what I do, Jacob dies. There you go. We got it, Jacob! We got this! Boy! Yeah! I think we did it in 90 seconds as well, so we got at least one of the bonus objectives. Even though we failed that other one, but who can, who can care, really? D 
deep stuff there, mate. Deep stuff. Back to the train. I, I think that completes the sequence. Do we get another fun little ditty with our, our good mate, Steric? Oh, no. We just have the game crash. Lovely. Promise not to leave me behind. Because you keep me coming back for more. And I feel a little better than I did before. If I never see your face again, I don't mind. All right, we're loading back in to see if maybe the game didn't lose all our information. For some reason, the webcam stopped recording. Not sure what was causing that. Uh, a little upsetting. 1910 Templar leaders meet on Jekyll Island. They devise a plan to use... Well, all right then. There you go. That was something. That was something. I don't know what, but it was something. Also, is the webcam being jittery now? Oh, wow, it loaded right into the video. Fantastic. Oh, I assume this is the video we're supposed to be seeing. We're Order has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Oh, don't be so gloomy, mate. Tupane has failed, Lucy. Has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters, barreling toward us. Teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, we will start anew. London must be reborn. I don't like the sound of that. Sounds like he's gonna look crazy. Sounds like he's gonna burn the place to the ground and start over. He's, he's doing some like. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're gonna move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otto Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. Jeez, don't put that kind of pressure on my shoulders. I guess that takes us into the ninth and final sequence, though. Which, if I'm not mistaken, we have to start as soon as we get back into the game. This isn't the kind of game where you can just walk away and, and come back and start. Hey, whatever happened to our mate, uh, Alexander Graham Bell? What happened to him? Wait a minute, where'd he go? We haven't seen him in, like, a couple of sequences. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? Uh oh I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's one way to go about rebuilding England. Once more for which is my city. Seek. Gotta get that SEO in there. We're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? I feel like that was uh, not like uh, that was one of those like impromptu lines that one of the developers actually said, right? Like syndicate, just one more, and then we're finished. Of course, George is coming out now. We have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the. What my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible. Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. What a then champ. Mrs. Disraeli, 
if you would be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. We've really just launched right into this, haven't we? Goodness me. Well, folks, I the guess we're in... Treating me like a child. Yeah, yeah, the nerve of her, really. I guess that's it. I guess we're in Sequence 9 now. I guess that when we come back next time... It'll be to end the series, except for there's, like, some other bonus content that we'll probably play as we wait for Origins to be released. Until next time, though, if you folks enjoyed this, maybe consider uh, becoming a patron over on Patreon.com. There's a link probably on the end card, definitely in the description. Until next time, God bless you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.